If you're watching this video, it probably means that you just made one of the most exciting decisions of your life to get a MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer. In this video, I'll take you through the unboxing of your new Magic Maker. We've made the MakerBot Replicator 2 even easier to set up than the original MakerBot Replicator so that you'll be making things in no time at all. As you unpack your MakerBot Replicator 2, be sure that you do so with care and attention and that you don't force anything out of place. Once you've opened your box, remove this cardboard piece on top and then remove the user manual. You can use the user manual along with these videos to guide you through the setup process. Remove the layer of foam and the sheet of cardboard underneath as well as the two protective foam pieces from the sides of the MakerBot Replicator 2. Open up the plastic bag and pull the MakerBot Replicator 2 out like this. Grasp it firmly and carefully. You don't want to damage anything underneath the frame of your machine. Set it on a stable work surface. Now you can remove the plastic bag and the last two foam pieces from the box. At the bottom of the shipping box, you'll find an accessory box. Once everything is out of the box, the first step is to detach the extruder from the side of your machine so that it can move around freely. Carefully cut and remove these zip ties and the plastic pieces that hold them there. You'll also need to remove the small plastic piece attached to the lower gantry rods and the Y-axis belt. Just tilt it and slide it off the belt to remove it. It's important to make sure all these pieces are removed and to check that your extruder has the ability to move freely before moving on. Next, insert the build plate. Just line it up at the back and give it a light push at the front to let it fall into place. To remove it, just push back gently and pull it out like this. You may have an easier time of removing objects from the build plate if you cover it in a layer of blue painter's tape before printing. Next, you'll need to find your filament guide tube, which is located in one of the cardboard sleeves. Push one end of the guide tube into the hole at the top of your extruder and push the other end into the left guide tube holder at the back of your MakerBot Replicator 2. Now locate the spool holder. Tilt it to fit it through the rectangular opening at the back of the machine and slide it down into place. Make sure it's installed on the left-hand side when you're viewing your Replicator 2 from the back. Your spool of MakerBot PLA filament is located in a black box that's fitted into one of the cardboard accessory sleeves. Take the spool out of its box and bag and push it onto the spool holder. You might need to squeeze the spool holder to get the spool all the way on but when you do, it should lock into place. Make sure that you mount the spool so that the filament feeds up from the center, like this. Now grab the power supply and cable from the white box located in your cardboard accessory sleeve. Before connecting anything, make sure that the power switch is set to off. Plug the cable into the power supply and the power supply into the input port at the back of your machine. And then let the magic begin. Once you've successfully set up your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer, you can move ahead to the startup process video, where I'll show you how to level your build platform and load your MakerBot PLA filament so that your MakerBot Replicator 2 can make its very first thing.